It's always good at the end of a meditation to dedicate merit. Just think of all the beings in the world who are suffering. People who have passed away. We have no idea where they are. And send a little something to them. See if they're aware, alert. Of course, most of us don't know. But it's a good thing to dedicate the merit anyhow. As the Buddha said, you give the merit to them. And even if they don't pick up on it, you've multiplied your merit because you've been willing to share it. We don't think of meditation and merit together, but it very definitely is a meritorious activity. As the Buddha said, the word merit here, or acts of merit, is just another word for happiness. And happiness, it comes from a good source. It comes from the goodness that we do. It's not the happiness of receiving good things, it's the happiness of putting goodness out there. That expands your horizon, expands your heart. At the same time, spread thoughts of goodwill at the beginning of the meditation, at the end. At the beginning, it's for yourself to get the mind in the right frame of mind. Any issues that come from the day, you have issues with this person that person, just think of them dissolving away before you meditate. And if that issue comes up in the course of your meditation, remind yourself, okay, I've spread goodwill already. What more do I need to do? Why am I picking it up? Then it makes it easier to let go, because you've cleared the decks. At the end of the meditation, it's for that person or all the people that you're dedicating it to, because your mind at that point is stronger. The concentration is clearer, the mind is more centered, more still, and its thoughts of goodwill can spread out in further directions. Because remember, we're not alone here in the world, even though we have to each of us has to take care of his or her own problems inside. But we live in a world where our lives impinge on one another, so we want to make sure that impingement is for the good. And when it comes out of a settled mind, a still mind, a concentrated mind, it has a lot more power. And it reminds you as you go into the world of what kind of attitude you want to carry into the world. If you leave meditation and say, oh, the world is just full of turmoil, and what am I going to do to protect my meditation? You set yourself up as an opponent. But if you can think of that centeredness of your mind radiating out in all directions, that changes the balance of power. You're not the victim of things outside. You're contributing something good outside. And that turns the winds around. And means that you're not on the receiving end of things. You're generating, generating goodwill, generating mindfulness, alertness. Now it's a lot easier to maintain the qualities of the meditation as you go through the day. Instead of worrying about the negative things coming in, and there's plenty of them, you're sending positive things out. And that's where your responsibility is, what you send out. It's that John's talking about the currents of the mind. Sometimes it's like a current in a river, and sometimes it's like the currents of a radio wave spreading out in all directions. I'll make sure those currents are good. 